people that, that like Wee Lord, when you look at the results, you, you just read his name and then you're compelled to figure out who he is. Yeah. So Hat Crab, I played some friendlies with him earlier. He's uh, he's decent. He can tech chase. He didn't there, but definitely has a lot to work on. Uh, yeah, some weird neutral game stuff. It feels like I don't know. I, I don't see the logic behind it, but maybe it's just because he's struggling with control. So. Maybe he's not executing what he wants. Yeah. See, like, he retreats and he kind of gets something, but then he just runs into a random up smash. <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh. It's also, I feel like, it's hard to, like, combo Fox into actual kills, but it, it does seem pretty obvious to me a lot of the time, like, what would be a, a good, safe, like, obvious follow-up for Sheiks. So when they're not at least doing that, I'm always... Pretty skeptical. Lucky his down B got interrupted there. Uh, could have eaten a punish and been Zelda. I don't know, man. Zelda's amazing. <laughs> Definitely has that kill power. I've been seeing more Zelda mains lately. <laughs> Dude, I played a good Zelda main at the Foundry. I'd never uh, seen him he's before. From, uh, Arizona. Okay, okay, good. I was wondering how I had never heard of yeah, him. He's from Arizona. I mean, there's a couple of good Zelda mains. Like, there is Cosmo. Zelda is a terrible character, but uh, I definitely struggled a little bit with the, with the neutral, which I thought I knew how to play against Zelda. But maybe it's just because the Foundry is hard to like really respect and cap people out. You probably were like, oh, this guy's Zelda. He's probably bad. Yeah. Right? And then it turns out the way he plays a lot in AC. <laughs> Grandmaster Cleavage, we're talking about his Falco, but he, he did opt for Fox. Um, I guess this is one of the matches where it makes a lot of sense. You play multiple characters. The weird thing about him is that he often switches to Falcon, which I've really never seen work. It might be for like when his tech's not on point or something. Yeah, that, that would make sense. I saw him do Falcon on FD versus a space he wants, and it was his pick. That was like, like super questionable. Oh. Definitely, uh, Grandma Cleave has just been dictating everything about the match. Like, he's not. He's making a lot of, uh, suboptimal decisions. Like. He's shining a lot. Yeah, it just he's getting these aren't leading to anything. Like, yeah, that drill could have led to something, but, like, he's just moving, so it doesn't really matter. He's gonna. He's coming out ahead he's enough of the time. He's the opponent. That's it. Uh, I think now he's just spamming stuff because he just knows he needs one hit. Okay, here we go. Some tech chases from Hat Crab, but uh, doesn't get any kind of conversion on the no tech. Definitely a good option you guys should use against uh, Sheik when she's tech chasing you. No tech. Weird drill. Oh. Okay. Convincing game. Uh, I assume he'll stick to Fox since he won pretty convincingly, but. I can't believe Who it's already 7 p.m. I know. I, I'm thinking about leaving and eating dinner because I have food at home. And I can just go to Charles's too. Maybe I should. Yeah. No. I feel like I wasted the day. <laughs> like, like 10 games, maybe. <laughs> Get good. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it's hard. Like, Hackrab going Zelda. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, switching off is all <laughs> A good tactical decision, or strategic would be more appropriate. Zelda has the best move in the game, dude. Down B. Yeah, down B, yeah. Should, every time you're Zelda, spam down B and you'll be in the shit. I wish Martha had Zelda's down B. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much any character getting the Zelda down B would make them pretty OP. In fact, it would make them chic plus whatever they are. So. <laughs> I was doing a little bit more work this first game, but yeah, his counter pick looks like it's doing decently. He just needs to clear that in the stock and he has a chance. But see, they both just throwing out moves and not really moving between them. Are you just going from like move to move to move rather than like move to movement? I feel, out I feel like they're just both kind of antsy. We're like. See, like, what are you grabbing there, man? Like, 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 every, like, movement just leads into a, just, like, straight attack. 
He doesn't do any yeah, like, kind of yeah, I or guess, anything. I guess that's true. Good observation. I haven't really thought about it. But yeah, he, he like pretty he's much just throwing just out a move. Like that's all he's doing. One at most two movements and then a uh, commitment. Like generally one. He threw out a fair coming down from the platform, but it's covered like where the fox is past him. Okay, that that was good. He actually waited for a second there, but uh, still doesn't, here. Here doesn't punish enough. That's like another chance. I was oh. talking to like Yasai. He's like, no, it's just a game of patience and resisting the urge to throw out a move first. Melee is? Yeah. Who said that? Zach. Yeah. Something like that. It makes sense though, like, a lot of people do throw out moves too early. They just wait that half second. Yeah, I, I'm sure uh, what he said doesn't apply to everyone though. I'm sure there are players better than Zach who do not live by that philosophy at all. <laughs> I actually feel like Zach is one of them. Uh, Randall helping him out there. <laughs> oh my god, the triple shine. Running triple shine. <laughs> And he can't do a dash yet. Okay, though, Hat Crab actually, like, come back quite a bit. Still, uh, just needs a gimp. If he can gimp for one of the two stocks, he can win pretty easily. Aw, oh, rolled right into you, man. Guys, you should be really wary of rolling into your opponent when they're in the center and you're at the corner, because people are just expecting it. Maybe uh, going for some disrespect with these shines now. <laughs> we have a seating argument next to me. It's pretty funny. Bobak and Sheridan played the first round, and uh, poor Bobak. There was no seating or something. I forgot who played Y. Someone good played YCZ round one. Like Vincent played YCZ round one. Ah, uh, Vincent is terrible. Yeah, but not bad I, enough to play Leon round one. I would I would have to see how many entries there were and how many I've heard of. But of the people I've heard of who aren't ranked, I would say he's less than 50 percentile easily. 